Hey everybody, TYT Sports locked out here in Culver City, California. Rick Strom with you. Gareth Bale, it was believed that he may transfer to the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona, even Manchester City for two big reasons. One, Harry Redknapp was sacked just a week ago as Spurs manager. The second was that the club did not even qualify for the Champions League next season. But now it was announced today that Gareth Bale, the 22-year-old attacking midfielder and winger, for Spurs has signed on for a four-year deal. He will remain at White Hart Lane through 2016, it was announced today. On Spurs' official website, here is what he said. I've been here for five years now, and I've enjoyed every minute. The fans have been great to me, and I'd love to repay them and do the very best for them. The club is progressing, and I want to be a part of that. So it was great to get the deal done. I love the club and the fans, and I want to play my part in trying to get us back into the Champions League where we belong. We need to work together to get back on the biggest stage again. Gareth Bale, a 7 million euro signing from Southampton in 2007, now valued at around 40 million euros. His career at Spurs since coming over in 2007 at just 17 years old, 160 appearances, 29 goals to his name. The PFA Players is Player of the Year in 2011, UEFA Team of the Year in 2011, PFA Premier League Team of the Year in 2011 and 2012. Last season, 47 appearances, 15 goals. Now this is huge because it appears that Luka Modric may transfer to Real Madrid. Now I did see a tweet online, or excuse me, a comment online that uh, from Yorkshire Magpie that wrote, all you Spurs fans know that it just means he's going at the end of next season for a lot more money. Now it would appear that no, he would not be gone at the end of next season, but Spurs fans, let me hear from you guys. Premier League fans, let me hear from you guys. He is obviously an integral part of the team as they finish fourth in the Premier League this season. So let me know your thoughts on all this. You can tweet those at me, at Rick Strom. Best ones get read on the air. And also, you could follow me for the worst soccer coverage of all time. Our Facebook page is in the description below. Leave your comments in the comments section below. And also, please do us a favor, guys. Whether you're a soccer fan, a football fan, a football fan, a footy fan, do us a favor. We are so close to 30,000 subscribers, guys. Subscribe to TYT Sports.